What is going on guys, this is Seth Ward here and I am back with yet another college football prediction video and this time I'll be talking about the Tennessee Volunteers going on the road to face off the Arkansas Razorbacks and this is going to be, in my opinion, one of those games just like we saw yesterday with Kentucky versus Ole Miss with Alabama and Georgia. Those games were crazy and just intense in my opinion. I really thought Alabama was going to smack Georgia in the second half but they let Georgia come back. Uh, they took the lead when it was like 41 to 30, 38 or something like that. It was crazy. It was just wild, that ending. And, of course, Ryan Williams, the 17-year-old wide receiver, just he's just amazing. Jalen Milrow had a great game as well That uh, also. And, of course, Kentucky, they bounced back from that uh, from losing to Georgia off of going to like punting it on a fourth and one when they had two minutes left in the fourth quarter. And then they actually went for it for like five seconds left. But then again, they went for actually on fourth down, and they actually, I think, uh, got the first down. And, of course, they won off a field goal. So that game was crazy as well. So this could be one of those games to look out for for this weekend, for this upcoming weekend in October 10th of 2024, Tennessee versus Arkansas. This game will be played at uh, the Razorback Stadium, and this is also a slideshow too. I usually like to do slideshows slide for prediction videos from now on. So this will be at Razorback Stadium. I believe this will probably be like a 3.30 Game, uh, PM game. I don't know what the time um, schedule will be on. I need to look that up after the video. So this is will this will be uh, the uh, where the location is. All right. So the last time these two teams met was back in November seventh of two thousand twenty, when we thought we didn't ha we weren't going to have a season because of COVID and the pandemic. But of course they did. And I think Tennessee struggled that year with Jeremy Pruitt. I think that was who he, he was the uh, head coach at that time. And they just had so many issues. And, of course, Josh Heupel has done a fantastic job with Tennessee. And they are legit this year. And I think they were like 3-11 and that, that year. And Arkansas won 24-13. That's the last time I think th those two teams met because Tennessee was in the SEC East and Arkansas was in the SEC West. But now the two divisions are gone and it's just one conference as a whole instead of divisions. Okay, so I think Tennessee had a bye this week, so they they played Oklahoma. They won 25 to 15. I actually predicted that game to win uh, Tennessee to win by 10. Uh, so, and of course, uh, Texas A&M is a tough team as well. So Arkansas lost 21 to 17. I think it was at Ten uh, Texas A&M, if I don't recall. Uh, but yeah, that was a close game, uh, just uh, to monitor as well. So Arkansas is not bad of a team either. All right, so the matchup predictor, we have Tennessee with a whopping 82.1% over Arkansas, 17.9%. Uh, the ESPN bet game odds has Tennessee with a minus 12.5 uh, for the favorites, and of course, Arkansas for the t plus 12.5 as the underdogs. Uh, so if you guys like betting, there you go with the matchup predictor for the odds of this week. And of course, let's go to the top three players on offense. And of course, I do the top three players uh, from that the previous game uh, they played, or yeah, the, the last game they played. So Nick, Nico Maliama, if I pronounce the last name wrong, I am sorry. I always I can't just I cannot pronounce that. So he had 13 completions to 21 attempts, 194 passing yards, average about 9.2 per pass, a uh, one touchdown and zero interceptions. We have running back Dylan Sampson had 24 carries, 92 uh, rushing yards, average about 3.8. Uh, per carry and one touchdown as well. Then we got Brew McCoy, who's a wide receiver. He had four receptions, 92 yards, receiving a 23.0 and zero touchdowns as well. And of course, the uh, the the only touchdown received on the wide receiving core was Dante Thornton, who was like kind of like the wide receiver one for Nico. He also had like 73 uh, receiving yards and one touchdown as well. All right, so for the Arkansas Razorbacks, we got Taylor Green, who had a great game against Texas A&M, went 23 uh, through 41, completed two attempts, 279 passing yards, averaged about 6.8 per throw, one touchdown and one interception. Running back Jaquindon Jackson had 10 carries, 37 yards, uh, averaged about 3.7 yards uh, per carry, and one touchdown. So we'll see how the running game will be against uh, Tennessee uh, for this upcoming Saturday. Then we got Isaac Tesla, or, or T, T, Tesla, I, whatever. Uh, five receptions, 120 receiving yards, averaged about 24.0 per catch, and had one touchdown as well for the Arkansas Razorbacks against Texas A&M yesterday. 
All right, so the top three players of the week on defense. We have linebacker Arion Carter has six total tackles, three solo, one, ta one tackle for loss, and one pass deflection. So he was all over the field uh, last week. And, of course, linebacker Keenan Peely also as well, five total tackles, four solo, one uh, tackle for loss. And, of course, the defensive back Andre Tarantine had five total tackles, three solo, and one pass deflection. And, of course, the only interception on the defense was Jermod McCoy, who had one interception for Tennessee. So they did a lot last week against uh, Oklahoma. All right, so the top three players of the week for uh, Arkansas on defense, we have Land Landon Jackson was all over the field as well. He had eight total tackles, six solo, two sacks, and three tackles for loss. So he did a lot for uh, Arkansas, even though they lost to Texas A&M. He did a lot. Uh, so we got linebacker Xavion Sorley, or Sorry, who has seven total tackles, six solo, one tackle for loss. And, of course, lastly, we have linebacker Brad Spence, who had four total tackles and four solo for the top three players of the week on defense for Arkansas. And, of course, the full team stats, as you guys can see, if you want to pause the video, you can. So Tennessee only allowed 222 uh, total yards compared to Arkansas, who allowed 300 total yards. And, of course, uh, Tennessee only allowed 168, 186 passing yards, and uh, Arkansas allowed 163 uh, passing yards on um, against Texas A&M, which is pretty good in my opinion. They only allowed 163 passing yards. For rushing-wise, uh, Tennessee only allowed 36 rushing yards. That's actually wild to even think about. Uh, that's like less than 100 yards. Crazy, 100, less than 50 yards is just wild. But, but then again, uh, Arkansas only allowed 137 rushing yards. Still not too bad at all. I mean, I mean, if you if you allow less than 150 rushing yards, that's pretty solid in my opinion, uh, if you ask me. Uh, so uh, the possession for both teams, Tennessee had about 35 minutes of possession against Oklahoma, and Arkansas had about 30 um, minutes against Texas A&M. So I think this may be a low-scoring type of game because, like Arkansas and Tennessee, they both love to have more possession of. The, the football. So my final prediction, even though this is at Arkansas, I still I'm still gonna go bet Tennessee with this one with minus seven points as the favorite. And of course, I think it may be a high scoring game, maybe in the uh, 20 point range compared to the 30 point range. But I think that these two teams is gonna be a low scoring game. So I think that Tennessee will win this game, even though it's at um, Arkansas. Tennessee still beat Oklahoma by 10 at Oklahoma. So that was a low-scoring game too. So this could be one of those games where it's like Ole Miss versus Kentucky or one of those crazy games that like goes down to the wire and then maybe one of the two teams wins by a field goal or a touchdown. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game. I think it's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be one of those crazy games or a low intense game like Georgia-Kentucky or Kentucky versus Ole Miss type of feel of this game. That's just my uh, opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Comment down below. Subscribe. Uh, and uh, I'll probably make some more videos today later on uh, for college football prediction videos. All right, guys, Seth Ward here. Y'all have a great rest of the day, and see y'all next time.